What's up everyone, Corey Parks with HydroHelp911. Wanna to talk today about what a drop girder is. If you hear a contractor or a foundation company talk about a drop girder, some people may refer to it as a wiggle beam or, or supplemental support. And we wanna just walk you through what that looks like. So a drop girder in our industry talks about some type of beam. That beam can be made of wood or steel that goes under your house in your crawl space or basement to provide additional support to your um, wood structure, your flooring system up under your floor joist. A lot of times a drop girder is gonna go um, between the main beam of your house and the foundation wall right in the middle. Uh, we call it the mid span support um, for the floor joist. The reason we call it this and the reason we install these is what we found is homes built back um, before the 80s, really the floor joist spanned too far. Maybe at the time they didn't span too far, but a lot of our furnishings nowadays and the flooring that we're putting down weighs more, so it's causing additional strain on those floor joists. So in today's time, they don't meet code and they're just, they're spanning too far. So we wanna cut that distance in half. So typically what we do is we will install a drop girder. Most of the time we use steel I-beams. There are a few cases where customers specifically request we use wood. That's fine as well, whether it's steel or wood, we're gonna make a beam and install it where it needs to go. And to hold that beam up, we're gonna either have um, some adjustable jacks, permanent jacks that are anchored into a footing and attached to that wood beam or steel I-beam, or we can use uh, CMU piers, which is also called concrete masonry unit piers, uh, basically the technical term for cinder block piers that are under your home. We can use jacks or piers to hold that drop girder up, but the purpose of the drop girder is basically just to provide supplemental support and stiffen your floors, raise them back into place, take a little wiggle out, a little sag out, just get everything back to where it should be. Hopefully this helps you better understand what a drop girder is, and we'll see you next time.